Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. We are fixing to be into the month of July, and we got to have a little celebration for July the 4th. So I wanted to share with y'all for the next, hopefully the next few days, some recipes that will be cool and refreshing for the hot summer weather that we have on the 4th of July. And today we're going to make a pie that's really easy. You can whip up as many as you want, get them in your ice box, and put different toppings on them, and you'll have a good, cool, refreshing dessert uh, that'll go with barbecue or whatever you decide to fix for the 4th. So, I'm going to get y'all on over to the butcher block, and we're going to get this put together. Now, I've had, I've had an experience this week. When I was a junior in high school, I wore contact lens. When I started school, Mom realized I was nearly blind. So, my first glasses were thick as the bottom of a glass Coke bottle, and they had to be changed every six months. And I had astigmatism real bad, and they told me that if I'd wear contacts, it would help stabilized my eyes. So when I went to work at the phone company my junior year of high school, I bought my own contacts and it did help. And I wore them for many years. I had to wear the semi-hard ones, gas permeable. Didn't have a problem putting them in or out. Well, fast forward about a hundred years and I had cataract surgery a few years back and the lens replacement in both eyes and I didn't have to wear glasses anymore. But I got to where I had to wear cheaters for my up-close vision, which is my right eye. And I thought, I wonder if I could wear a contact on that eye and not have to get those glasses out every time. So I went yesterday to the doctor, had my exam, got my disposable, how times have changed, contacts. And I had to sit there in front of God and everybody trying to put that thing on. And it's huge. And I couldn't get my eye open big enough. Finally got it poked in there. And he didn't want me to wear the kind that you leave in. I need to redo it every day. Y'all, I bet I spent 40 minutes last night trying to get that contact out of my eye because I can't just pinch it because I got fingernails. And I remembered that that girl told me that she took her knuckles and did it like that. And that's what I finally did and got that thing out. Well, guess what? I didn't put it in yet today. I don't plan to be reading any fine print. So that was my uh, big ordeal yesterday. Now today, my big ordeal is just getting y'all some videos made. I think life's settling back to normal a little bit, our normal. Our normal will never be our old normal, but we're getting used to it, and we're just doing what we feel like doing, and what we don't feel like doing, we're not. So today, I feel like making a pie. So y'all come on over here to the butcher block, and let's get this made in the icebox where to set up and uh, we can cut us a piece and eat it and show y'all what it looks like. Okay, I had to get my little scissors for my vanilla pudding. You want one large box and this is, well I'm reading fine print, ain't I? This is the five point something ounce box of vanilla pudding. And you want to put that in your bowl and it calls for three cups of milk on the uh, instructions for the pudding, but that's where the difference comes in. We're going to use, this is a brand new graham cracker crumb crust, and it's cracked, and they hide it. You can't tell it when you buy it where it's cracked, but I'm going to use it anyhow, and if it comes out cracked when I cut it, that's going to be okay too. So, instead of using three cups of milk, you use one and a half cups of milk, and one and a half cups of sour cream. So let's get that in there. We'll stir it all up and get it in here. Let it start. Oh, that one is had just a little bit left, but it wasn't good. This is a brand new one. I'll use it. I know it's good. Okay, let me get my one and a half cups in here. falling overboard. I think that's it, but let me see. One and a half, okay. Get my sour cream in there. And 
and I got a little dab of sour cream left in this two cup container to put on a baked potato later. Okay, let me get my whisk here and get this all mixed up. I would need that measuring cup, but I just use the same one for both, so it's work smarter. I don't have as much dishes to wash. What y'all doing for the fourth? We don't have any great big plans. I don't even know if any of the kids will come or not. Um, you know, I like to do traditional stuff. I like something on the grill, so. I may even get out there and christen that black stone for the fourth. If I do, I'll film it and let y'all see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to grab my recipe and make sure I've got everything in there that I need to make it taste good. You know what? I don't have my bananas over there. You have to slice some bananas in the bottom of the pan. Now, blueberries go good with bananas. Strawberries go good with bananas. So whatever topping that you want to put on it, or you can just leave it plain. If you've got people that you don't think would want that topping on it, I've had it plain and it's delicious. Okay, let's get our bananas in. These are big, so it may not take three. You just want to kind of get enough to cover the bottom of the, well, however much you want. And this may be enough filling to do two pies. I don't remember. But I like this in the hot summertime because it's just, it's just refreshing. Anything that's kept in the icebox is pretty refreshing in the heat of the summer, don't y'all think? That's a little pretty good layer. I'm going to put a few more. And I can always eat what's left of this banana if I don't need it all. What do you... Yeah. It's just about the amount of ripeness that I like, too. I don't like them green, but I don't like them with black spots on them. I just like them good and sweet. I need to save some of it because we may have enough for another... Uh, Man, I thought I would cut that, but either my knife's dull or I'm weak. Maybe a little bit of both. Okay, let's get some of our goody on here and see if we're going to have enough to do two. See, it's already, see how thick it's already getting? Good deal. Good deal, Niller Pudding. You're thickening it up good. Yes, I'm going to be able to make two, and that's good, because I can share one with somebody. So remember that when you're trying to decide what you need to make for your bunch. This will make two pies. And I think... Let me see. I think I've got another plain crust. Let me go look. Just a minute. Well, this is going to be special. This is going to be special. I have an Oreo crust. So the next one I will put in the Oreo crust. And won't that be good if you put strawberries on top of it? That would be very good. So let's get this. Ooh, and that one doesn't look like it's broken. That's good. Get all this sticky goop off of here while I'm at it. I can do that in a minute. Okay, let's put us some bananas in the bottom of this Oreo. And I know which one would be my favorite. I like me some chocolate. 
I like that you mix one time and then you have enough for two pies. That's awesome. And y'all know this wasn't very expensive. That little old box of pudding was on sale. And I think that crust was a dollar and something. I don't know how much this one was because I've had it a while. And more than likely, I got it on sale or wouldn't have an extra one up there. You know how I am about sale stuff. Stocking up ahead. Having it when I need it. I bet you could use, I mean, I know you could use whatever flavor pudding you wanted. I've never tried anything but the vanilla. And I just bury what I put on the top. And strawberries to uh, blueberries. I've never tried anything else because in my opinion, both of those go good with bananas. So one of these is going to be strawberry. One of them, I'm going to snitch a little bit from that one and smear over here. Okay, one of them will be strawberry after a while, and one of them will be blueberry. And I'll be back to show y'all what they look like dressed up. Be back in just a jiffy. Well, I've got my strawberries chilled, and my pie should be set by now. So I'm going to top this one with strawberries, and I'll probably top the other one with blueberries. Unless that it doesn't take all these strawberries, and if it doesn't take all the strawberries, then they'll both have strawberries on them. Doesn't that already look gummy? I think I'm just going to pile all of this up on one. Strawberries and bananas with that wonderful yummy filling. This is going to be so good. Okay, let me rinse my hands off and then we'll cut it. Now I want to show y'all how to cut a pie that's in a tin foil pan like this where you can get it out without breaking it all to pieces. So I'm going to set my camera down here and maybe you can see what I'm doing. What you do is you take some scissors and you literally cut the pan how big of a piece you want to cut. And you see what I'm doing? I'm going to come over here where I made that cut and I'm going to snip my pan down. And I may be cutting right where my crust was broken, but you'll get the idea of what to do. And then we'll cut right here the same way. And then you bring this down. And you get that down out of your way and you can get your scoop in there and get your pie out. Now I've got my little bitty uh, spatula here and I'm going to see if I can get, you know, I forgot to cut my pie after I, that's goofy. All I did was cut my uh, pan. I didn't cut my pie here. So 
for C. And you bring that down like that, you can reach right in there and get your piece of pie out without it tearing all up. I hope y'all have a really good 4th of July weekend and you're safe, but you make a lot of good memories. We never know what the future holds. The next 4th of July might be totally different here in the United States. Looks like things are rolling a little bit different than the way we grew up or the way I grew up. The Lord bless and keep y'all. And I'm going to try to do a few more recipes before the 4th where you'll have some good stuff to put on your table or your picnic.